Dinah and I are hiking up a trail that leads to Crow's Nest Mountain. With us is Bern, a hiker from Germany that we met the day before. After hiking for less than an hour, the trees thin and we're able to take in some views. Bern stops to take photos, photos that may go into his guidebook. He writes guidebooks in German and is here in Western Canada doing research for his 19th book. He took several shots of Dinah and I, so I wonder if we'll appear in his German guidebook. Crow's Nest Mountain is guarded by cliff bands, but our trail leads to a weakness that we can scramble up. The peak on the right is the south end of the Seven Sisters. The way up is steep with loose rock. I offered a pole to burn, but he declined. We easily make it up the first cliff bend. Above the first cliff bend are trails going left and right, but the trail left is the correct one. It leads to this long gully that cuts through the second cliff bend. The end of the gully becomes steep, but a chain made it easy to ascend. Such chains are rare in the Canadian Rockies, but Byrne told us they are common in Europe. After the chain, we scramble out of the gully. And we are back on a trail. Our way up the mountain, we can just make out the summit. Soon we split up. Bernd makes his own route while Dinah and I follow the trail. Bernd's route is much slower and more difficult than ours. While Bernd is still scrambling up, Dinah and I walk to the summit, Karen. We couldn't wait as other hikers were about to arrive which would ruin our summit video.